What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we have some very important update for the Uncovered Jailbreak. A new version of the Uncovered Jailbreak has been released for the iOS 13.3 all the way down to iOS 11 and of course it comes with many many fixes so I definitely recommend it to update right now and of course Pound Own, the developer of the Jailbreak also recommends it to update right now. Just a few hours ago Pound Own posted quote Uncovered version 4.3.0 is now out. The biggest stability and feature update to Uncover yet get it at uncovered.dev. Now, due to some bugs on the GitHub, the version is now shown as 4.3.1 here on the download instead of 4.3.0. You have to download the one here on the website. And of course, if you take a look in here, it says that it supports iOS 11.0 all the way up to iOS 13.3 on all devices, including the A12 and so on. Now, if you take a look at the change login here, it said that it adds support for rebooting the user space for the first time in a jailbreak. Now, this is massive. This makes the jailbreak so damn fast. It makes it respring faster, it makes it work faster and it introduces a lot of stability. It adds support for injecting to the entire user space, adds support for looking up or registering services from the sandbox with the CY prefix for the developers and reboot the user space after jailbreaking. Make a major design change to preserve the stock system performance and of course fix random reboots, freezes, memory issues and any known problem that affected system services or apps and fixes persistent software update blocker on iOS 13. Works in the jailed state too. So even if you're not jailbroken, once you run that, the uh, device no longer seeks updates, which is very nice. And then it says in here, fix a design problem that affected the succession restore tool and automatically re-enable software updates when restoring rootfs. So basically, if you remove the uncovered jailbreak by restoring the rootfs, it will activate the updates again so that you can update your iOS version straight from your device. Now, Pound Own also posted this in here, quote, even if you think you're running the right version of version 4.3.0, you should still update the 4.3.0. 3.1, reboot and jailbreak with that to ensure stability with the right version. So even if you're jailbroken right now with your uncover, don't just install the new uncover, also have to run it. So in order to run it, you have to reboot your phone and of course jailbreak with the new version. If you're jailbroken already, even if you install the new one, it's not going to change anything until you jailbreak with it. Pound Own also gave some explanation about rebooting the user space and why is that faster. He said, quote, successfully rebooted the user space on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. The kernel task is not restarted, so the device stays jailbroken, but this is not an untether. The upcoming update of the Uncovered, the one that has been released, will be insanely stable and fast. This should fix every single issue regarding system apps or services after jailbreaking. That's basically a stock reboot into a jailbroken state. He also said, quote, needless to say, but that should also fix the battery life problems that are caused by demons acting up after jailbreaking. So this is definitely very, very good. Now, for those of you who do not know how to sign the new Uncover, if you have Windows, you definitely have to use the Alt Store, which is basically a CD Impactor alternative. And I have a full tutorial on how to set it up and how to install Uncover right here. So I'm going to link it in the description down below. But uh, it's also available in the cards up there if you're on mobile or of course if you're on a computer but yeah that's basically it and if you are on a Mac you can definitely use the iOS app signer in here which is basically a simple procedure all you have to do is to open the iOS app signer and of course you have to have the IPA ready we're going to drag it and drop it in here and of course if you have your uh, configuration done properly and there is also a video on my channel about that so you can definitely check it out but anyways if you have the configuration properly set in here you can select your iOS team provisioning profile and press start in here and that would basically allow you to sign the uncover so I'm going to do this it's extracting the IPA file code signing everything and at this point it's packaging the IPA and that's it so at this point the uncovering here has been signed and I can deploy it with the uh, Xcode or iPhone box and stuff like that so yeah, that's basically it but if you're on Windows this tutorial in here for alt server is definitely what you need and it's available in the description down below as well as in the pinned comment so yeah, that's basically it thank you for watching till next time don't forget to check out our new jailbreak central forum where you can ask uncover related questions see jailbreak news get jailbreak help and of course you can ask me questions directly and as you can see it just received Received a new update for the UI. It looks better than ever. So, thank you for watching. Update your uncover. I'm Geosnow. Till next time, peace out.